you are here for the West Ham News Show on West Ham Unofficial. I hope you are all keeping well. We've got plenty to get through in this West Ham News Show. So well, without further ado, we're going to get into it. We're going to be talking about international call-ups for players in our squad. The main ones are, of course, uh, awards. We are up to... Um, Player and manager awards we are up uh, for, which we are going to start with. And uh, Declan Rice is up for player of the month for October. He's joined by uh, uh, Ben Chilwell Corner uh, from from Burnley, Phil Foden, Livramento, uh, Ramsdale, of course, Declan Rice, Mo Salah and Yuri Tiedemann. It's a big name, so you know who's going to win it. It's going to be Mo Salah, but it's nice to see uh, Declan Rice getting the recognition because I do think that, to be honest with you, um, how he plays and uh, and and his and his performance is definitely go under the radar by uh, by a lot of people. The work he puts in, just he he is England's best defensive midfielder, and that is the bottom line uh, of it. And uh, yeah, he just keeps performing for West Ham for England, whatever it is, week in week out, and uh, he is well deservedly getting nominated for this. Of course, he won't win at other players that are in it. Ben Chilwell's a good mount. corner is banging the goals for Burnley. Phil Foden's a big name. Liv Ramento, nice to see him in there. Ramsdale, he's pulled off some fantastic saves and is uh, probably on form the best keeper in the Premier League at the moment. Mo Salah will win it because it's Mo Salah, because it's Liverpool, because it's a big club. These awards are rigged. And Yuri Tielemans from Leicester is in it as well. So it's nice to see Declan Rice in there, but he'll never win it until he joins a big club, which hopefully won't be anytime soon. And uh, manager of the month awards as well. Uh, the awards just keep on coming. David Moyes has been nominated for October of Manager of the Month. He's joined uh, in the nominations by Jurgen Klopp of Liverpool, of course, who we take on at the weekend. Uh, Thomas Tuchel from Chelsea and a well-deserved pat on the back nomination for Pat. Um, uh, for Patrick Vieira as well. To be honest, it's probably going to be between the two big names, but um, but if. But if I were anyone to win it and it's not Moyes, I'd like to see Patrick Vieira get the recognition he deserves from where he's taken Crystal Palace uh, from when he picked them up um, to where he's taken them now. They are a very well-drilled, in-form side, uh, which are hard to beat, which we found out when we played him a couple of months ago. We didn't get the three points, um, uh, but, they, but they are turning into a very good consolidated mid-table pushing for Europe just one of those sides um, of course Liverpool and Chelsea are doing their stuff I don't really want to talk about them uh, too much so yeah it's nice to see our players are finally getting the recognition uh, and they are getting nominated for these awards which is nice to see um, International call-ups is next on the list, and we're going to start with France, where uh, Alphonse Ariola has been uh, has been uh, picked uh, as well, as one of the three keepers to uh, uh, to accompany Larice and Costil in the France squad, and uh, and Kurt Zuma is uh, has has been has been called up for the France uh, squad as a centre back, despite not being picked in the last international break. He um he he regains his place in the international squad for France, which is uh, nice to see as well. Kurt Zuma is in there. And to carry on, uh, one thing that West Ham fans probably could have done without and probably didn't want to see is that Mikel Antonio has been picked for the Jamaica squad to uh, join uh, Premier League players there like Leon Bailey, um, Andre Gray, who is from QPR, but there's a few recognisable names on there. Kemal Roof from Rangers. Um, last time he was picked in the squad, but he did decide quite late on that he's going to prioritise West Ham and for logistical uh, and, you know, uh, technical and all of those reasons he's, um, he decided to put West Ham first and stay at home in London. Will he do it this time? I doubt it. I would prefer him to do it and I, and I think most West Ham fans would prefer him to do it but uh, you know, we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Um, I would be surprised if he withdraws again because you know, second time around will Jamaica think, oh we'll just leave him because he obviously doesn't want to play for us. To be fair, I wouldn't blame him. He's played for him once and they lost 3-0. We had to travel the half, like literally the tra tra travel the globe to uh, not do much really and uh, lose 3-0. Um, but, you know, we'll just have to wait and see on that one. The England squad, the big one, 2pm it was. Uh, this came out yesterday and uh, we saw um, uh, we'll uh, Sam Johnston, Jordan Pickford and Aaron Ramsdale as the three keepers. Alexander Arnold, Chilwell, Cody, James, Maguire, Tyrone Mings, Luke Shaw, John Stones and Carl Walker. Uh, uh, w w one thing I want to say there is uh, Aaron Creswell was rumoured to get um, to get a 
to get a look in for this squad, but he hasn't been in, uh, involved. The midfielders, Jude Bellingham, Jordan Henderson, Mason Mount, Calvin Phillips, Declan Rice, of course, for the Mighty Hammers, and James Ward Prowse. And the attackers are Tammy Abraham, Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, Harry Kane, Marcus Rashford, Bakaya Saka, and Raheem Sterling. Um, of course, Jared Bowen, it was big. The Athletic reported that um, uh, alongside players like uh, Conor Gallagher, um, Jared Bowen was on David Moyes' uh, not David Moyes, uh, Gareth Southgate's radar to be picked for this squad. But yet again, the second West Ham player that's been on his radar hasn't been picked. Now I now now I now I do apologise if I'm I'm going to take headphones off for this. Um, I do apologise if I do uh, go on a little bit of a rant here, but they, um, but Gareth, oh, I keep saying David Moyes, <laughs> Gareth Southgate um, always says he picks players on form. He doesn't pick players on forms. He picks which uh, badge is on their shirt. Jordan Henderson is completely past his sell-by date. I would rather see Conor Gallagher in there every single day of the week. Uh, he's completely um, past his sell-by date, but he's in the 2018 favoured uh, little group that Gareth Southgate likes to pick every single international break. Players, you know, he, he says he picks players on form. Yeah, he's left Sancho and Greenwood out, which I say fair play because they don't deserve to be in there on form. But he's got players like Raheem Sterling, who's playing in Man City's reserves. <laughs> he can barely get game time and he's not really firing on all cylinders. Yes, he did it in the Euros, but he says he picks players on form. Hmm. He's not really on form. Uh and, you know, you've got other players there as well. You've got Marcus Rashford, who's not on form. He picks players for their badge. I would 100% now would have preferred to see two really, really in-form wingers uh, and attacking players in there. In ML Smith-Rowe from Arsenal and Jared Bowen from West Ham. Um, to replace those two players because they are on form. Those other two players aren't. It's just in Gareth Southgate's favoured um favourite group but you know it's frustrating but as a West Ham selfishness we probably don't want Jared Bone to get injured so it's probably a little bit of a result him staying at home as well we've got plenty of players that are staying and uh, uh, getting get, getting a little bit of a breather uh, ready for the mad amount of fixtures we've got in the next couple of months you've got key players you know like Lucas Fabianski, Angelo Ogbonna, uh, Aaron Creswell gets a very well deserved um, rest um uh and you know other players like that you've got of, of course i mentioned jared bowen um as well but uh our free checkmates that's the people that i missed our free checkmates are in the um are in the uh, uh czech republic squad so you've got um so you've got sue foul uh sue check and alex crow have all made the squad once again so where uh, they're not getting a rest they are carrying on but there's the international call that's one thing i do want to mention before i head on this edition of the west ham news show here on west ham unofficial is uh is is yet again about David Moyes. I'm going to carry on talking about David Moyes, and it is his. Uh, it's um, last night was his a uh, thousandth game in uh, in management, which is a massive, massive achievement. I do believe I have uh, got some stats for you, which I'm going to uh, share with you in just a second. But that a thousand, you know, he's gone from Everton to over to Spain to Sunderland, and he's been to so many places trying to work his magic, and uh, he deserves a lot of credit. 35 managers have done it, um, have, have reached a thousand games, and he is one of them. Um, uh, you know, a thousand games, and f and for West Ham, our um, as West Ham fans, we can't praise of him enough. A few stats: he's the best win percentage of any permanent West Ham United manager in the top tier of forty three percent. He's won forty eight out of the hundred and eleven uh, games he has managed for West Ham. Um, he he has ha he has had a club record uh, number of victories in a season, including a record nine away wins last season. Absolutely incredible! Uh, this season, he has achieved the club's best um, points total uh, from ten games since the 1975-76 season. He just continues to write and rewrite records for the Hammers. Um, uh, he's finished in the top six or the top tier uh, for just the sixth time in West Ham's history and he's getting praised uh, and you know why not because he uh, is absolutely fantastic and he he deserves a huge pat on the back for himself and he deserves a huge round of applause from every single West Ham fan for reaching that fantastic milestone and taking us from relegation to European football and absolutely loving life the next season in just 18 months David Moy's words not mine I win. That's what I do. I win. That's David 
David Moyes' words, not mine. But to recap, we've had international call-ups in the likes of Kurt Zuma, Alphonse Ariola, our checkmates, Declan Rice, uh, Jared Bowen and Aaron Creswell missing out of the England squad. But that's right, it's just Gareth Southgate's mates that get in there. Um, and amongst more, of course, we've got Declan Rice and David Moyes up for awards as well, player of the month and manager of the month, respectively. So we are going places in the Europa League, Carabao Cup, Premier League. And what a time to be a West Ham fan. We are massive. Don't forget that. Thank you very much for watching. Check out our, check out our channel sponsors, SRM, Carver and Son, by checking them out in the description down below. Come on, you irons. And I've been Jake Cox, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.